hello there hey, welcome to another minifigure review and today what we have here is Wonder Woman from WM Blocks and uh, I gotta say this is a very uh, female oriented set but it's very very beautiful very very well done so uh, let's take a look at each of the minifigures and I give you my opinion about them so first here we have uh, Steve. So actually, I, I didn't really watch the movie. Uh, sorry, not to say that I'm a big fan of Marvel or not a big fan of DC. Uh, it's just that uh, this movie just didn't caught my attention. Uh, but however, the minifigure did. And here you have Steve. Uh, he doesn't come with any accessories. Just look at his face printing here. Uh, the usual WM standard, which is very good. Uh, it doesn't come with a second face printing. Uh, I wouldn't say it looks like the actor, but most of the time they don't look like the actor. The hair, hair scalp is okay, or oh, nothing special. Body printing is very clean. Just kind of like a sweat sort of sweatshirt or something, but I do like this pouch here. It's very well done the pouch. Blue color pouch. I'm not sure if he's wearing this in the movie, as I, I did not watch the show at all. Um there's no side body printing, but there's a hip printing here. Side hip printing. The leg printing is kind of simple, just a shoe, uh, side arm printing with a watch, back printing, this is side printing. So there's basically nothing much they can do because uh, character wise is just a normal human being, so I think it's okay you know, to add into your collection, Trevor. Yeah. Sorry, Steve. Um, so next you have Lord Maxwell. Uh, I think he does look gorgeous. Whether he looks like the actor or not, I'm not sure, but he does look gorgeous. Uh, look at the suit, the face printing. Let's see. And again, uh, face printing looks clean, but uh, nothing resembles the the actor. I kind of Google the actor's face. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. No back face printing. Hair is. Uh, I think I've seen this hair quite some time. Not to say it's specially molded for the character, uh, but the suit is very nice. Look at that. I like the blue color. All the stripes for the texture, very nicely done. Just look at the tie, it's very beautiful. You have the cyclic printing, uh, they should have given him a uh, side body printing so at least the, the entire body is uh, in uniform with the suit. Uh, side arm printing, it's just a mist here. In the back printing, I do think the front is very nice. Basically, I think tie is the one that's attracting me. Yeah, it's a very nice midi figure, very nice. I don't want to say just just like it a lot, although it looks uh, very normal. Maxwell. So let's head over to. These girls here. First off, we have Princess Diana, and I do think she she does have the the look from the actress. I do think she looks like Gal Gadot. You know, there's something about a face printing that when you look at it, just kind of does have an image of Gal Gadot. There, a uh, very nice hair. Uh, I like the hair. Very nice hairstyle. 
Uh, no back face printing. Just looks like Gal Gadot. Princess Diana. So the body printing is very nice as well, as you can see. Very clean, she's wearing some kind of suit. Yeah, the side here, uh, no printing on the side. She does some kind of a, a print here, but I think because of the the outfit, you don't you don't see the printing that well. As in, they don't really print uh, any patterns, but it's printed. It's printed. As you can see the line here, right? Side arm printing, no side body printing. Uh, back body printing is normal, normal clothing. Yeah, Princess Diana. I think she's very nice. Uh, it does looks like Gal Gadot. I don't. Know. Is it me? Next, you have Barbara, which is Cheetah. I, I do think that this is very, very nicely done. Uh, face printing wise, it's okay. Uh, does it look like the actress in the show? I, I don't know. But I think it's very different, at least the eye. I've not seen this kind of printing for the eyes. Just trying to imitate the actress a bit. Come on. Okay. Oops. The hair is a very common piece here. Uh, nothing special about the hair. But it works for her. Uh, there's no side, uh, second hate print. You look at the the body here, it's very nice. Look at that. This really uh, captures the uh the clothing from the movie very well. Okay, searching the pictures I do remember seeing her wearing this. Look at all these cheetah patterns. And then the the, the jacket here, you can see the buttons, all this kind of like a uh, metallic stuff, it's actually printed in silver, so it's reflected very nicely. And all the texture. Very well done. This is very very well done. The side arm printing also with the texture. Side leg printing. Our back printing is also very beautiful. Look at that. Can you just see the printed texture? Very nice. This is a very nice figure. Very satisfied with this. Uh, next you have Wonder Woman. Now this Wonder Woman, uh, I think this is actually from the animation. Uh, that where they, I think I'm not sure what's the title, but most of the new DC Justice League animation, Wonder Woman actually wears this uh, costume. So this is very very nice, gorgeous looking one. Camera steady. Okay. So face printing wise is a very normal print. Just see if it matches uh, Princess Diana's face print. Yeah, I think the eyes are the same. So at least this is consistent. Uh, very normal face print uh, as the usual uh, Wonder Woman. There's a second face print, the angrier face. I like this a lot. And the hair piece is okay, just normal hair piece. I think I've seen this many times as well, but it works well for uh, Wonder Woman. What's outstanding about this minifigure? Oh, sorry, just forgot the accessories. Uh, the shield is very nice. Let's look at that. To carry it away by the the excellent printing on the body. The, the shield is printed in kind of gold and you can see a lot of all these Amazonian uh, writings around it. It's very nice. But the problem with this is just that I'm not sure why that they printed so it burnt straight up here. But when you hold the shield, oops, sorry. When you hold the shield, this is how she holds it. So this way it's straight. 
maybe it's just me I would like her to hold it at the side and the bird still goes up standing straight up uh, but it was meant for for you to actually hold it this way for the shield for the bird to be uh, right standing up most of the time I would display her this way and you can see the bird is actually on sideways so it's just me that I, I would prefer that this is printed uh, standing straight when the shield is at the side but just me but it's a very nice shield very well done Uh, just a normal sword here. Now look at the body printing. Just look at it. Just amazing detailing. You can see all the layers of the armor and different shades of red and the light reddish. Wow. Very nice. You know, uh, let me show you something. This is a this is from Sin, a Wonder Woman from Sin, which I, I got it from Justice League set. As you can see, if you compare the differences between WM's work and uh, Sin, just look at the armor, it's so vibrant. The way they printed it, it just felt like really like those meta metal materials. Whereas well, this is just uh, plain, uh, very bland printing. You don't feel the like you're looking at a uh, armor piece but from WM you can see it's very nice it's very vibrant it's like it's shining like metal and the detailing that they have printed the lines the you know the pieces of the armor is very very nice just excellent job WM excellent look at the leg armor just very nice uh, sight here she even have side body printing. Look at that. And the side arm printing. The back printing. It's very consistent. You can still see the very detailed armor piece here, the red color and with different shades of red. I think that's what this side. Just wow, very nice. Very, very nicely done love it a lot uh, let's continue on with another Wonder Woman and uh, this is the costume from from the movie so accessories wise she comes with the same shield a very nice shield and the same sword can look at a figurine here So here the face print is this it's identical to the previous one. Uh, expression wise, let me see. Is it the same? Let's compare the expression. Okay, slightly different. This is smiling with an open mouth. Again it works, it's okay. Uh, she doesn't come with a second face print. Uh, same hair sculpt. But the body printing again, uh, although slightly similar in design, but it's very very nice. Again, look at the gold color printing and the different shades of red again. Just amazing. WM's work is really very very detailed. This really makes them a very uh, quality manufacturer. Look at that full side body printing, leg printing, side arm printing and check out the back body printing very sexy back another very nice, I think this is uh, my favorite Wonder Woman together with this wow you know, other companies really need to put in more effort and this is what we are looking for. This is really great quality work. If you compare this to with Sins, this actually released uh, way later than this too. But you look at the work. Yeah. 
Sin actually knows that WM can produce such work, but they decided to continue on with this. No, these two are very, very well done. Superb. Next, we have Cheetah in Cheetah form. Now, she comes with uh, two claws to imitate her claw. Being can't get this out. Okay, done. another claws. So she does have a problem is that uh, with this tail piece, so it tends the bo the body and the leg piece kind of tend to uh, kind of break apart easily, right? I think because it just doesn't get enough. Um, what do you call it? Connection between two pieces to actually ensure that stays still the grip is not good enough because of this tail piece but anyhow uh, let's look at the minifigure it's very very nice very well done the face is just excellent look at that this is quite similar to the actress or to the character in the movie but it's very well done. Uh, the hair as well, look at that. Uh, I think detailing is not deep enough, as in the hair. They could have made deeper cuts for the hair for better detailing, but it works. It's the hair piece. I'm not sure I've seen this hair piece before. No. If you've seen it, let me know. It's very nice. Uh, no second face print. You look at the body print. It's very, very nice. Look at the whole cheetah patterns. I like those dark shadowy that they put in. It really enhances the printing, as usual. Uh, it does have a full side body printing. Wow. Arm printing full back printing very nice just that there's no top print in here it's very very nice full fully printed right I think this only happens in WM's minifigure they're not shy from giving their minifigure full body printing and this is the tail piece so very nice So I'm not sure if LEGO did re release this, I didn't really google it up, but uh, hey, it's very well done, seriously. The only problem is uh, very loose connection between the body and the leg piece. Of course, I saved the last, uh, the best for last, the golden armored Wonder Woman. Amazing! This 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 figure is amazing. Uh, let's look at this figure close up. Let's take a look at the uh, look at the rip of truth. Oh, the lasso of truth. It's fully, I think it's golden, uh, gold color plated. But it can, uh, kind of feel like it's going to break easily. I think the material is very different once they use all this gold color. It's not painted, it's actually molded. So the material wise it felt like it's very crispy that you can actually break it easily. Unlike the normal Lego uh, Lasso of Truth. But anyhow it's, it's very beautiful, very well done. A very nice Lasso of Truth. So here you have the minifigure itself. Very, very nice reminiscence of the movie's version. Okay, let's take a look at the face printing. Uh, normal Diana face printing. Let's look at the art. Uh, the helmet piece. Very nice. Oh. Yeah, the thing is, the helmet is kind of very tight, that it always pulls the, the head together with it. 
Ah, it's very hard to split to get the hate removed from the helmet. But let's look at the helmet first. You see, it's very nicely done. The color is very nice. Same goes for the detailing. Look at that. Also has a hair uh, molded to it. Very nice. Try to let me loan one of this body. Try to crack open it. No, fail. Uh, so this is, I think it's stuck in it. Let me try again. So nope, I have no luck in removing the helmet. So sorry, can't show you whether she has a second face print or not. Uh, i try if I can re-upload re the video again if I get to remove the hate piece. Uh, one thing is that the helmet, the armor piece and the wing they don't feel like normal plastic, the Lego plastic, the minifigure plastic. It feels the same material as the Last of Truth. So I think that's why it's so tight. Uh, anyhow, let's look at the armor piece here. It's very nice. Gold color, and all the uh, details around it. Let's remove it. It's very tight to the body as well. Get it off. There, success. You can see. The wings are, you can actually move the wings, front and back. Both wings, uh, it moves very fluidly. Right. Look at the wings detail. Very nice detail on the wings. Both sides. So I was worrying when I was attaching the wings to the uh, to this hole here to push it in that it might uh, scrap off the, the the gold color paint, but since this is actually molded in gold, so that doesn't happen here, uh, like the falcon's wing. So this is very nice. So apart from this, the body printing is superb. Look at that. It's all gold color and all the details. Look at all this. I would say this is more like a dark gold that brings out the, the tone on the bot on the armor. Very nice. You can see there are actually a few tones here. The side here. Uh, there's no side body printing. Uh, this is a miss. You know? They could have done it, given it the side body printing. Uh, side arm printing is very nice. Look at that. Details of the armor piece. Wow, it feels like it's really glittering. You know? Some of it is actually the printing effect of different tone of the gold. Look at back. Just very nice, amazing. But one thing I'm kind of worried is that uh, when you tend to remove the armor because this armor piece is very very tight. It might scrap off some of the uh, the print here. I felt that it could happen, but I haven't seen it. I think I've seen some kind of uh, uh, scratches here. Could be could be caused by the armor piece. So advice is: once the armor is on, do not remove it. <laughs> do not ever remove it. Okay. So this is indeed a very beautiful minifigure. I really love it. Just amazing what WM can do. Uh, very nice printing, very nice armor piece here. Superb, just look at that. Back of it. Wonder Woman. Wow. There you have it. WM's uh, Wonder Woman minifigure. And I can, I can tell this set is just amazing, it's just excellent. The amount of details, the amount of printing, and the armor piece, everything is just very, very nice. From the villain, 
to the heroes all so well done uh, even just all this normal printing yeah I mean normal outfit it's still very good uh, I have no complaint over this set uh, I felt that uh, they've done such a great job with the printing I always like minifigures with bright a vibrant print and all every single figure in the set uh, it has very nice printing right very very good set uh, I think if you are a collector of minifigures you gotta have this set if you have not purchased it please do so uh, especially for the perfect Wonder Woman this two Wonder Woman is very very nice Cheetah is also very nice with the full body printing right so amazing set I love it a lot uh, so for, for those who en really enjoy my video, I hope you can show your support to the channel by clicking on to the subscribe button, right? And do share and like this video. And uh, so thank you for watching. So see you again soon. Bye bye.